These types of reports matter because it puts a human face to the issue. People struggling to make ends meet is not just a perception. According to the Calgary Foundation annual quality life report, many Calgarians have difficulties affording basic needs. The report found 25% of Calgarians can't keep up with inflation. We know that many people are struggling to afford, you know, fresh fruits and vegetables and healthy meats and proteins. Uh, many Calgarians who have, yeah, have, have families are struggling to feed their families. Many are skipping meals in order to ensure that their children have food on the table. The Calgary Foundation says food insecurity is one of the biggest challenges. Affordability and people having jobs that pay them enough to be able to buy groceries every month. When it comes to housing, the survey found 40% can't afford to buy a home and 36% are struggling to afford rent. We know that many people are making sacrifices to pay their rent pay their mortgage, uh, and it's getting trickier and trickier to get into the market so more people are living with family or with friends. Mayor Jody Gondek says it will take all levels of government to help. We are in the worst position to be able to help folks, and yet we're the ones that see them and engage with them every day. So we are incredibly dependent on our federal and provincial partners to help us get through all of this. I can tell you that council approving that housing strategy was absolutely critical to take care of one component, which is housing. The report also found Calgarians' feelings about safety have gotten worse, with 80% saying they are concerned about their well-being, a jump of nearly 20% compared to just two years ago. But there are some positives. I think there's also lots to celebrate this year. We're a happy city. Calgarians have high quality of life. They feel part of community. 69% say they are doing good emotionally and improvement compared to last year. And nearly everyone in the survey enjoyed living in their neighborhood. Despite the struggles portrayed in the report, it also found many Calgarians are still looking out for one another, as there was a high percentage of people volunteering or making donations. The belief remains that Calgary is still a great place to live. In Calgary, Silvia Naranjo, City News.